Hi friends, welcome to Pharma Classes Learn at a Glance. I am Dr. JP. Today we are going to discuss drugs used in peptic ulcer using the book Pharmacology Learn at a Glance. We are going to see. This entire video is being explained using this slide. If you understand this slide, anti-ulcer drugs classification will be at your fingertips. Take a screenshot. First, let us discuss what is peptic ulcer. It is characterized by the ulcers in the gastric region due to excessive secretion of HCL. Next, peptic ulcers are formed due to imbalance between defensive and aggressive factors. Defensive factors are the factors that decrease acid levels. Examples are mucus and bicarbonates. Next, aggressive factors are the factors that increase acid levels. Example, acid, NSAIDs, pepsin and helicobacter pylori. Next, how does gastric acid secrete? HCL is secreted by gastric parietal cells due to stimulation of proton pump. It is also known as hydrogen potassium ATPase. This proton pump is also stimulated by histamine 2 receptors, M1 and M3 receptors and cholecystokinin receptors which stimulates gastrin. Next, what is the role of gastrin and vagus now in ulcers formation? When dietary peptide stimulates enteral G cells, they produce gastrin. Gastrin is a peptide hormone that primarily increases histamine release from enterochromaffin cells by weakly stimulating the proton pump. Next, the vagus now increases acid production via stimulation of proton pump, stimulation of histamine release in enterochromaffin cells. Last one, direct release of gastrin by the action of G cells. Next, strategies of ulcer treatment. The following are the most common methods used to treat peptic ulcer. Here I have given one mnemonic, Bova. It is a fruit, that fruit used to treat uh, ulcer. Here you see all are capital letters, but bold are G, U, A and A, but not B. One by one we are going to discuss. In G square, first G is uh, gastric acid secretion inhibitors. These are the drugs that inhibit gastric acid secretion. Second G, gastrin antagonists. These are the drugs that inhibit gastrin. In E square, first U is ulcer protectives. These are the drugs that give protection against ulcers. Second U, ulcer healers. These are the drugs that stimulate the ulcer healing. Next A, antacids. The drugs that neutralize gastric acid. One more A, anti-helicobacter pylori drugs. The drugs that eradicate the helicobacter pylori. Next, the mechanism of uh, drugs one by one we are going to discuss. The first one is gastric acid secretion inhibitors. These are different types. What are those? Happy. Here, all are capital letters, but bold are HAP. H, H2 receptor antagonists. A, anticholinergics. P, proton pump inhibitors. Let us discuss H2 receptor antagonists. They inhibit H2 receptors located on the basolateral membrane of the parietal cell. They are end with the cervix hidden. What are those? Floor nice. Here we have to see bold letters. F L R square N C. F ramotidine L loxatidine R ranitidine. One more R roxatidine N nizatidine C simitidine. Amantidine ramotidine is the most potent drug. Nizatidine has hundred percent bioavailability. Next, when you coming to the simitidine, it is a rarely used since uh, it causes impotence and gynecomastia in men and galactoria in women. Next, second gastric acid secretion inhibitors, anticholinergics. These are the drugs uh, that inactivate muscarinic receptors. What are those? Sin. Bold letters are S and N. Yes, selective M1 blockers, N, non-selective. Selective MN blockers are ended with the suffix NGPIN. They are tip. 
bold letters T and P. T, Tilanjipin, T, Pyranjipin. Non-selective muscarinic receptor blockers are OP, outpatient, O, oxyphenonium, P, propanthalin. Next, coming to the last, gastric acid secretion inhibitors are proton pump inhibitors. First, let us discuss mechanism of action. They inhibit proton pump in the gastric parietal cells and prevent the secretion of H plus ions into the gastric lumen. Results in inhibition of acid secretion. Proton pump inhibitors are ended with suffix fragile. They are pre boil Here we must see bold letters P R E O L. P pantoprazole or ramoprazole. E esmoprazole. O omeprazole. L lansoprazole. When coming to the important points of proton pump inhibitors, the first point proton pump inhibitors are weak bases, so they can be destroyed by gastric acid. Hence, these can be given as enteric tablets to protect them from HCL. This coating dissolves in alkaline medium in intestinal juice and are absorbed. Second point proton pump inhibitors reduce the secretion of intrinsic factor from parietal cells, which is required for. Uh, the absorption of vitamin B12. As a result, pernicious anemia develops. Lansoprozole is the most potent and safest drug in pregnancy. Rabaprozole is the most potent and longest acting drug. So far, what we have discussed the drugs that inhibit gastric acid secretion. Next, second anti ulcer drug, gastrin antagonist. So, these are the drugs that inhibit gastrin. What is the drug? Proglumide. Next, ulcer protectives. The drugs that give protection to the ulcer. What are those? Subcollector, sucralpate, colloidal bismuth substrate. First, let us discuss sucralpate. At an acidic pH, it produces a sticky coating at the ulcer and acts as an acid resistant layer. Because it functions at an acidic pH, it should not be given along with the antacids. Second ulcer protective, colloidal bismuth substrate. Over the ulcer, it develops an acid resistant layer. The side effects are blackening of the tongue and bismuth poisoning. Next, ulcer healers. These are two types. What are the spots of this? More letters are P and O. P, prostaglandin analogs, O, others. First, let us discuss prostaglandin analogs. So, these are remit. Gold letters are R, E, M, R, Rheoprostyl, E, N, Prostyl, M, Mysoprostyl. First, prostaglandin E1 and prostaglandin E2 are anti ulcer drugs that increase mucus and bicarbonate secretion as well as mucus blood flow. NSAIDs induce ulcers are treated with Mysoprostyl. It is a prostaglandin E1 analog. Rheoprostyl and N prostyl are PGE2 analogs. These prostaglandin analogs increase gastric motility and cause diarrhea and abdominal pain as a side effects. Next, others, of course, O, others, C, carbonyloxone sodium. Carbonyloxone sodium is obtained from the roots of Glyceriza glabra. It causes ulcer epithelization without decreasing acid production. It can cause hypertension, salt water retention and hypokalemia by displacing aldosterone from plasma protein binding sites. Next, antacids. These are the drugs that neutralize gastric acid. Sin, bold letters are S yes and N. Yes, systemic antacids, N, non-systemic antacids. Systemic antacids, these are the drugs that neutralize gastric acid and enter into the systemic circulation. What are those? Sodium bicarbonate and sodium citrate. Non systemic antacids. Non systemic antacids. These are the drugs that neutralize gastric acid and do not enter into systemic circulation. What are those? MCA, M. Magnesium compounds, C. Calcium carbonate, A. Aluminium hydroxide. Last anti ulcer drugs, anti helicobacter pylori drugs. These are the drugs that eradicate uh, helicobacter pylori which causes ulcer. What are those drugs? MCA, M, metronidazole, C, clarithromycin, A, amoxicillin.
I hope you like this video. If you want to purchase the book, the link is provided in the description. For more videos, you please like, share, subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.